Hello, it's Teddy Graphics. Now I'm going to show you how to use photorealistic four flags mockup. So I have it opened with my Photoshop CS6 extended. And as you can see, there are four flags and for each flag, there is one smart object dedicated. So if you want to change the first flags content, simply double click on the first smart object and it will open a new tab with the flags graphic. You can replace the graphic or as I do change only the color of it and save it. And the flag is going to be updated automatically. There you go. Simple as that. Of course, that's what you're going to do with all the other flags. Also, in an addition to this mockup, you have a possibility to change the way the flags pole look like. So for now, it's just aluminium that you can put a nice pattern on it. There's, mm, uh, there's of course, layer group called content. You have to enroll it and you have first flagpole, second flagpole and so on. So if I want to change the way the first flags pole look like, I'm going to double click on the first flagpole, smart object, and there is invisible content. When I toggle visibility on, you have um, bl nice blue striped pattern. So now it's just enough to save it and you see the pattern on the pole applied. If you want to change the color of the pattern, you have to double click on the smart object and then double click again to edit the pattern itself. And here you have flags pole layer group and roll it and simply change the color of it. Save it. Now save this one again. And there you go. It's updated. Of course, that's what you need to do with all the other flags poles. Um, also, you have two background photos you can choose from. Windy Sea Sign that is currently visible toggled on and Sunny Days. Um, you also might notice that each flag has its own HDR effect that you can toggle on and off depending on your taste. Okay, that's basically it. I hope you like it. Thanks for your attention. Bye.